Hello everybody and welcome to my quick basic guide for trading in Songs of Six. I'm Icon and this video will kickstart you and give you all the necessary knowledge to do imports, exports, manage your treasury and understand how trading in general works. So let's get started. The first things you need are import stations and export stations. You will find them in the logistics menu right here on these points or if you don't like these I personally can recommend the filter menu here as well, or you can just uh, select them by searching for them. Building these will cost you only a little bit of stone and wood and a little bit of workers, so that's all you need. I'm going to explain the export section first, because without export, no money, and without money, no import. So, you select the export depot, and you see here all manner of different data. First off, make sure that this thing has an employee. Without employees, there's not gonna happen anything. Next thing, you select what you wanna sell. When you mouse over these things, you see that there's a lot of different pricings there. You should orient yourself around what you're producing in your town. For example, we're producing here a lot of fabric. That's why I'm exporting them. Here, you set up what export level should be aimed for. This sounds a little bit uh, complicated, but it's actually not. You tell the game how much of your stock is going to be sold. Here we have 60% of the warehouse stock or when I'm above 612 items basically in this slider you set up your reserve. So how much do you want to keep for yourself before you start selling? Like if you don't want to sell much you set up something like that here. Uh, we're only exporting 10% of a warehouse stock. So only when I'm above 1,300 items, I'm going to start selling. With these setups, you can safely adjust the way you want it to. You can here, for example, say I'm going to export 90% because I'm not needing this much, or you get the idea. So this is how that works. You also get a readout about how much is in your warehouses. Keep in mind, you will need to have crates assigned to the specific goods in the warehouses to make the export depot work. Otherwise, it won't work. So as you see here, this is the amount of items for sale that have been already transported to the to the station, and this is the price we're going to sell the stuff for. I'm using here a wood station. This is the same thing. And if you ever suffer from the problem that you notice that your stuff is lying in the warehouses but not getting towards the export depots, it's either not enough employees on the depot itself or resources lying around on the map. You can solve that problem by plotting down a hauler right next to your station. The hauler must be configured to the good that's been sold at the station and the hauler will transport the goods right next there. And now the export depot, dep uh, export depot employee can safely pick up the wood. And you get the idea, I guess. So, and that's really all you need to know about exports. Just make sure that you're only selecting something, something you can sell. Set up the export level to a level that's just uh, comfy for you, and then just blast away. The rest is going to happen automatically. If you ever reach the point where you feel like, man, I have way more in my warehouses and stuff is just not getting sold, usually that means that you're producing too much and you need more export depots to get the ball rolling or lack of employees. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say about exports. Let's get, let's get over to the import section. Imports are done by money. Money is displayed here in the treasury, that number 702, that's my, that's my money right now. And money is earned mainly by exporting goods. When you have an import depot, import depots don't need workers, unlike export depots. And here you just select the good you want to buy. This one here is importing, for example, metal. And here you select the import level. So I'm importing until 20% of my warehouse are filled or 51 items. You also see that there's a little slider here and watch the watch the metal icon while I put that slider around. You see that little white bar? This is showing you how much of that good is going to be ordered. And you see the buy price here, this is per unit, and how many are on the way to you right now. Because at some point, when you have enough money, your merchants will place an order buy that stuff and then let's head over to a world map one of these caravans will come to your place 
and transport that stuff to you. So basically, if you're wondering where the hell's the stuff at, you can also check out if any caravan is on the way to you. But most of the time, if you have everything set up like I showed it to you here, then patience, my friend, patience, that's all. Trading can sometimes take a really, really long time. And yeah, that's practic practically all that's to say about imports. It's also important that you have a couple of crates assigned to the goods that you want to import, because otherwise the goods will remain at the import station. I'm not even sure if, if, if the uh, actual order will be placed if there is no crate available. I never tried that, because I've always had a crate assigned for the stuff I'm importing. And that's all you need to know. With this, with these basics, you can just do the trading. Of course, there is more to it. You see, there's sales prices and storages of these people. And there's buy prices and how much the environment, how, the, how much the factions in the environment have stored of that. So you can actually oversaturate markets or bring up the prices for a good by buying too much. But... I think that's not necessary to understand uh, or that's not necessary um, to understand how the market in general works. So now you know how to sell your stuff, now you know how to buy your stuff. A couple of last words before I end this tutorial. Try always to have a couple of goods in your town that you actively export to grow, to, to grow your uh, income early on. And you don't need to produce everything in this game yourself. Imports are a solution for many problems and use this tool wisely because you have this tool ac accessible from the beginning of the game. Usually stuff like metal, weapons, clothing or whatever is hard to acquire for your people. It might be even ore that you import. Whatever. Let your fantasy go wild. But use the exports, check out what your place is overproducing and go crazy with that and utilize that. All right, I hope that was a helpful tutorial for you. If this left any questions open, just drop them into the comment box below. If you have any idea for another cool tutorial for Songs of Six or any other question that you want to have answered, just ask away. I'll do what I can to make a good video about that topic too. Now, leave a thumbs up if that was enjoyable or helpful. And of course, consider subscribing. There's daily videos coming up from my side. All you need to do is hit that notification bell and you won't miss anything in the future. Thank you so, so much for your time and attention and have a good one. See you soon and goodbye.